friends welcome to our channel in this session we will discuss grouping of phases into passes simply what do you mean by phase phase is a step in the compiler process which takes the data in one representation and produces the output in another representation simply lexical analyzer is one phase in the compiler the lexical analyzer takes source program as the input and produces the tokenized data as the output suppose syntax analyzer is another phase it takes input in the form of tokenized data and the output is in the form of parse tree that is phase converts one type of representation into another type of representation and what do you mean by pass simply pass is the number of times a source program is scanned the number of times a source program is scanned during compilation is called pass now our aim is we have to group the phases into passes actually how many number of phases we have we have total of six phases and coming to passes we have two different types of passes one is single pass compiler second one is two pass compiler single pass that is one pass compiler or two pass compiler what do you mean by one pass compiler all the six phases are grouped into a single part that is called one pass compiler suppose see this one this is my source program now the source program is passed to lexical analyzer syntax analyzer semantic analyzer intermediate code generator code optimizer finally code generator now observe all these six phases are grouped into a single pass it produces the target assembly code that is the target language is my output this is called one pass compiler now we are moving to two pass compiler this is the one we are used the two pass compiler the name specify the six phases are divided into two parts in this the first part is called analysis part the second one is called synthesis part the first part is called analysis part second one is called synthesis part the another name for analysis part is called front end for synthesis part the other name is called back end okay simply remember the analysis part mainly concentrate on analyzing the code the main part of analysis part is analyzing the code and this analysis part mainly depends on source program this analysis phase mainly depends on source program and it does not depends on target language it does not depends on target language exactly coming to synthesis part it main concentration is on synthesizing the code exactly it mainly depends on target language and it does not depends on source program exactly both are different both are completely reverse okay now this is called front end this is called back end now among these six phases which phases are comes under analysis part and which phases are comes under synthesis part generally generally we said that the first three parts that is the first three phases 
comes under analysis part and the remaining three phases are comes under synthesis part but originally that is not the correct thing remember this is the source program now the source program is passed to lexical analyzer the first phase syntax analyzer the second phase like this semantic analyzer the third phase now this part is called front end <coughs> this is called front end or analysis part actually this front end generates intermediate code this front end generate intermediate code now this intermediate code is passed to the synthesis part or back end or back end that is the back end contains code optimizer and then code generator okay so in some of the books they said that intermediate code is also a part of the back end but originally the intermediate code acts as the intermediate between front end back end so front end contains these three phases back end contains these two phases after back end it produces the target language is the output the target language is the output this is called two pass compiler this is the way how to group different phases into passes if you like this video please subscribe to our channel thank you